Here at Stony Brook, we take care of individual patients. However, we still care about population health. One population that has been growing is the transgender community. We really don't know much about the prevalence of cardiovascular diseases in this population. We also don't know whether or not there are any risk factors for cardiovascular disease in this uh, specific patient population. This study is important because there's really not much data about cardiovascular disease in the transgender population. The database that we used for our study was generated from the Behavioral Risk Factor Surveillance System. It is a system that was created by the CDC back in the mid-80s. What is unique about this survey is that people are asked to identify their gender identity in a non-binary fashion. So people can fall into men, women, but also transgender women, transgender men, as well as non-conforming. We identified 1,019 transgender individuals in this database. Of them, 37% identified themselves as transitions from male to female, 39% transitioned from female to male, and the rest of them, which is about 24%, were non-conforming. Out of the 1,019 patients that we studied, 138 of them reported to have cardiovascular diseases. So that's about 13.5%. When we looked at the three subgroups, the transgender women, transgender men, and the non-conforming individuals, we found that the prevalence was very similar in all three groups. When we did multivariable analysis, we found that older age, diabetes, depressive disorders, COPD, and chronic kidney disease were independent predictors of developing cardiovascular diseases in this population. We concluded that cardiovascular disease was actually quite prevalent in people that identify themselves as being transgender. We were also able to identify risk factors for development of cardiovascular disease in this population.